Hello and welcome back to another Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz. We're going to spend a little more time talking about this idea of not fearing. Fear not as we read this classic passage from 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 7. And I have to admit, I've got a, a kind of a pet peeve, and it involves the phrase, fear not, as found in the Bible. Perhaps you have heard it said or even seen it posted on social media as gospel truth that the phrase, fear not, appears in the Bible 365 times, once for every day of the year. Well, I know personally I've quoted this in the past, but then one day the Berean in me decided to check it out. Funny thing, uh, my concordance shows the phrase fear not appearing in the King James Bible just 63 times. Uh, that's a little short of 365. Now the idea of 365 fear nots while comforting, I'm sorry, it just isn't true. However, Having said that, the concept of trusting God and not fearing is found in many places in Scripture and certainly worthy of noting. Fact is, if it were only found here in this one place in, in, sec, in First Timothy, it, or rather in Second Timothy, it would be and should be enough. The recent results of the presidential election in America stirred up the very real emotion of fear for many of those who voted against Donald Trump. The news media is long on showing us the results of this fear, but short on offering solace and comfort. And that's where we, the church, ought to come in. Let's just try and put the shoe on the other foot. I guess some of the polls show that 81% of white evangelicals cast their vote for Trump. But I wonder how those voters would have reacted to a Clinton victory. It would be very foolish to think that there wouldn't have been a massive outbreak of fear, okay? Fear needs to be dealt with, and perhaps that's why it's mentioned so often in Scripture. Followers of Christ ought to have a leg up on others in the matter of fear. And if fear is gripping a believer, then we ought to take a look at these voices, at these verses that, that, that speak of fearing not. It's great consolation found in Scripture. If fear rises up in the heart of an unbeliever and in the streets of a nation, then we ought to take note that a nation needs fear. Jesus. So as we see these fearful reactions to circumstances, the best thing that we can do as Christians is pray for and work for revival. It's easy to sit on the sidelines and denigrate the protesters, but let's get past that and let's see the real solution to fear. People need Jesus. How can we best bring him to them? Well, that's all the time we have for today. God bless you. Thank you much for listening. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.